Hi everyone and welcome. In this quick tutorial, I will show you how to use Teachable Machine step by step. So the first step is to open up Teachable Machine on a browser. You can go to this URL here or just type in Teachable Machine into Google and you will get to this web page and go ahead and click get started. We will do the image whoops, sorry, we will do the image project model. So click on that and then go ahead and click standard image model. When you get here, you are going to do the hardest part of the whole thing, which is deciding what to teach your computer. Start with just two things, maybe uh, the difference between a purple marker and a red marker. Or what I will do is me, my face without a mask, and my face with a mask. Once you've decided, you can start to collect and label your data. Go ahead and click on the webcam and open it up and then click hold to record and take some images. For me, this is my face without a mask and I'm doing a bunch of different locations anywhere I might be standing in front of my webcam. And we're looking for maybe 100 samples here. I've got 141, I'll go with that. I'm gonna label me without a mask. And then my second class is going to be me with a mask. And I'll do exactly the same thing, except this time I will be wearing my mask. If you don't wanna do this hold to record thing in the settings right next to where I'm clicking, you can also set it to have a timer. Um, all right, that's pretty good, about 100 samples. Step number three, train your model. So go ahead and click on this. Depending on how many images you have, how many classes you have, and how fast your computer is, this training process will take anywhere from 10 to 15 seconds to a couple of minutes. Very important while you do this, do not switch tabs. You must stay on the same tab and just watch it train, which is very hard for those of us who are multitaskers, if you're anything like me, switching tabs all the time. So we're almost done with this. Later on, you can click this advanced panel. Uh, we don't have to worry about that right now. Okay, you can see we're testing step number four, testing our model. And as I'm moving around in front of my webcam, you can see that my model is extremely confident that that is me without a mask and me with a mask, without and with. Okay, now this works really well. It's actually really, really well. I can maybe try to trick it by covering up. Uh, no, it's okay. So it's less certain when I start introducing other variables here. Your model might not be as confident as mine. Why? Because maybe if you chose markers, the markers are a lot smaller. There's a much smaller difference between a red marker and a purple marker in front of your camera than there is between this and this, why I chose this? Because I knew it would work. So finally, step number five, improve your model. Test it, test it, test it. See which images you think uh, should belong in your model. Maybe you like this one, right? And then maybe you don't and you can refine them. You can remove images that you do not like and you can add others. Or you could even add another class if you wanted to start differentiating between not just two things, but three things, three things. <laughs> okay, that's it. I hope you enjoy, I hope you have fun. Good luck.